Hey guys, welcome to my new video. Um, I look a mess, I don't even care. So anyway, I started my job yesterday. And then, went in today. And they told me that they thought it was a good idea for me to go home. I don't know why I just stopped. Um, anyway, they said that they thought it would be best if I went home and gave myself more time to heal from having COVID the second time because of the flak. The flak? What the heck is a flak? Because of the fact that I was coughing. And I think it was most likely someone in my training class that had said something to the trainer because, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it was. But anyway, it doesn't matter because I'm home. <laughs> but they said that I can come back either next time, next training class, which I think will happen on like the 20-something. Or I could come back in January depending on how I feel, I guess, or if the class fills up. So that's what I'm going to do, I guess. Um, the only downfall about the job itself is the fact that I have to literally drive three hours a day. Um, but other than that, it's such a great job. Patrick worked there, he loved it. Um, but yeah, there were so many lizards outside today. It was such a beautiful day yesterday. But anyway, in the meantime, while I'm not working at this job, I guess, I'm going to focus on eating better and getting healthier. Also, my hair color is has changed. It's like a purple burgundy color. It's really pretty. Don't know if it looks good on me, though, because of my skin tone. is like really pink and red. Like this. But... <coughs> Oh, <coughs> uh, yeah. So, I've been missing Patrick a lot. Um, I'm also recording on a new phone. And I got a new phone because I wanted to make sure that my other phone was safe because of all of mine and Patrick's texts are on that phone. And I didn't want it to break and I lose all my texts. So, yeah. It's a good phone. I just didn't want to mess it up. So I'm waiting for Izzy to get back. I just got back home because I had to bring my dad's dog to go get groomed today. And so that's what I did. Um, I went to go pick her up. That's what I meant to say. Which they told me last minute that they closed literally right before I picked her up. Let me go inside. Oh, the door's locked. Literally, I just got home. But, uh, I've cried so many times today because of Patrick missing him and whatnot. But, um, oh my God, look at my house. That's Ashton's big freaking back and play. But, um, I want to show you guys my stuff, if I haven't already. So, mm, that's my, that's my baby. At night, it's really creepy, though, because his eyes are really dark at night, so. <clears throat> I don't know if I showed you all this, but yeah. I have all this stuff set up for him. This is my dog tag that I got with him and I on it. I hang it there when I'm not wearing it. I had it on earlier, though. And then under here, I have some stuff for him as well. I got his, uh, his new urn thing is in here. If you guys want to see that, I'll show you. But not his urn, his, uh. The necklace thing for his ashes, so I guess it is an urn. But anyway, here's his stuff. I got a photo book made right here. 
And then over here, I have this giant pillow with him sleeping on it. It's so pretty. And then my Build-A-Bear, which is, it has the stuff that he normally wore. Hang on, I gotta itch my face. <clears throat> pair of basketball shorts and a white shirt. And then it says... So you probably can't hear that very well, but it says, you're so beautiful. I love you so much, baby. Have a good night. And his voice, obviously. And then there is a controller. I got so much stuff over here. Where is his controller? Oh, there it is. And it has this little controller that he holds on to. Because Patrick loved his video games. So I'm going to put that on and show you guys. I don't put it on him all the time just because I don't want it to like um, get stretched out and not sit on him anymore. Because I do plan on getting another one. See? And then it looks like he's playing video games. Pew, pew, pew. His name is Patrick. And his birthday is... July 9th, 2001, because I couldn't put it any, you know, later. And then I got his shirt that he wore to the hospital, which is one of his favorite shirts that he always wore. It's the one with all the superheroes and then Spider-Man, which is his favorite character, is holding all the superheroes up. And I bought him this, so. It smells like him because I sprayed it with his cologne. It still smells a little bit because from the hospital, you know. But uh, it also was in a bag, wet for like the longest time. So he was basically in the hospital for I think it was like three weeks. So he was in the hospital for a while, and that was in the bed in a, in a bag, wet. So, I have this, and I sleep with it every night. And it's weird, because even when he was here, like, here, like, on the couch, I would s fall asleep with his shirt like this on me, because it was comforting to, like, have him near. And then my bee. Say, I miss Papa P. Your mama's. Hey, Bubba B. Is your mama? Your mama. She's like, oh, don't touch me. Hi, mama. But yeah, so that is my life. <laughs> I cry. I barely sleep. Take lots of melatonin. Still don't sleep. And being insecure. Because I gained weight from being depressed and eating and not having the will to like get up and do stuff because I'm just too depressed. And when Patrick was here, he was my reason. He was my purpose. He was everything to me. So I would just take care of him all the time. And then when I get sad and I cry, I tell myself, stop pitying yourself. You know, don't stop feeling bad for yourself. And it sucks because I know, like, it's okay to be sad because I'm grieving the loss of, like, the best thing that ever happened to me. But it sucks. But anyway... Other than that, I'm doing fine, I guess. You know, other than the weight gain and the depression and the grieving. And I also have survivor's guilt because I survived it not just once, but twice. But anyway. Um... I coughed this morning, and I coughed up a tonsil stone. That was disgusting. 
I also have a sore on my tongue. Mm. Yeah. No, I didn't touch it. It looked like I did, but I didn't. I also cut my finger, a chunk of my finger off. Um, when I was trying to cut the top off of a hair dye bottle. And that, it's just being annoying. Like, whatever. But, today I got dressed. I, I wore, I, I wore, I, I, did my hair. I frick was wearing these cute legging pants, a black shirt, and oh, I like the fact that I can actually record. Though I think my camera's dirty, but up, yeah. oh, I don't know. We got pretty. Oh, and on a good note, this pretty little bean head, she got to be superstar of the week on the Facebook group. The crazy cat lady. So, that's cool. Um, also, I want to show you guys what I did. So, me and Izzy, we've been doing these diamond paintings. This one's Izzy's. It's supposed to be a moon, but she says it looks like a pearl. And then, um, I'm, I should probably... This is all... I'll get to that in a minute. But, this... I bought um, a set of these things to help. It's so much easier with this. But this is the one I'm working on now. Oops, ow, I hit my phone. But I kind of stopped doing it. So did Izzy, just because, I don't know, we just stopped. But this is all the medicines that I really take since having COVID. I take vitamin D3. Ginger root. Um, this is my normal medicine that I take, but there's like vitamin C, zinc, um, cholesterol medicine, and me my diabetes medicine. And then this is anti poop pills because my medicine makes me have bathroom issues. Anyway, back to this ginger root, vitamin D3, um, ashwagandha, and I think it has black something in it, black pepper or something, let me see, um, I guess not, I don't know, um, this is black seed oil capsules, because taking it in a shot was disgusting, Patrick's dad actually takes the, um, not these, but the black seed oil straight in a cup, um, these are just muscle relaxers that I don't take, more anti-poop medicine, um, and I think that's all I take is just these with this. So I guess that's not that much. Um, except for I have to take like two ashwagandha and two black seed oils and they're disgusting. And I put them in this cap and I take them like that. And I take three melatonins a day at night, which hasn't been helping me much. Look, she looking because every time I take my medicine... I give her a treat because she thinks they're treats. And I just started giving her treats again because she's on a strict diet. So I'll let her do that. My house is a freaking wreck. Look, that's me and him. He's so handsome. Gosh. There's me. Hi. Anyway. Um, my house is a mess. Those are like a billion masks that I just washed. I still have to take these off because, you know. Halloween's over. But this is the shots. 100% pure cold pressed black cumin sea oil. And you're supposed to take those a shot a day. I really don't all the time because you know, it's just, I don't know. I just don't all the time. But yeah, I've gained some weight like oh my god and i'm super insecure now like oh no i can't even